Bonjour, everybody. Good morning. Ni hao. Thank you very much for that kind and lengthy introduction, Tim. Most of the uh, speaking notes that I have have already been read by Tim. In fact, I'm so oversold on Durham, I'm moving from Cambridge here just later today. Let me also uh, thank the, uh, the folks that organized this conference. Uh, I know it takes a lot of work to put these things on, so to the volunteers and those who are dedicated to these types of forums, congratulations and thank you. In particular, the Durham Economic Prosperity Con uh, Committee. Good for you. Well done. Let me just take a second as well to uh, thank and acknowledge my colleague and friend, uh, Colin Carey. Colin and I have a lot in common. We were both uh, chiropractors in our previous lives. So we, uh, we often will be seen in the hallways uh, on the hill adjusting each other and looking at ways that we can straighten out the opposition, uh, which is much more difficult than you think. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if I uh, do appear a bit nervous this morning, I am indeed. I, as you know, I speak a lot in the House of Commons, so I'm not used to speaking to a live and attentive audience. But I'll get over that. More seriously, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just say how impressed I am that the theme of the conference today is economic prosperity for the Durham region. Uh, it is about developing solutions and uncovering new opportunities for economic growth. The very fact that you are here today to talk about uh, these things is quite encouraging to me. Uh, as was already mentioned, as Minister of State for the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario, this is a, this is a big issue for me every single day in this file. So thank you for paying some attention to it in your particular area. As you well know, economic prosperity uh, isn't something that just happens. Now, sometimes it does, but very rarely does that happen by chance. More often than not, it takes an incredible amount of work. It takes leadership. It takes ideas and discussion. It takes planning, and it takes partnership, which was already mentioned this morning with respect to teams and team building. It is not usually one big thing or one big project that makes the real difference. It is the sum of individual local activities and such work like that that you are doing here in Durham Region that leads to success. Your efforts, and of course efforts like these with other organizations, is how I believe we will in fact create a bright future and a prosperous economy and return Ontario to its rightful cycle of prosperity. Now I can tell you, as you probably already know, the top priority for Colin and myself and Prime Minister Stephen Harper is in fact the economy. Colin and I and the rest of our caucus work very hard to create jobs, protect jobs, grow our economy, and thankfully this year, we actually brought forward a budget that was, for the first time in a number of years, more forward thinking and focused on longer term prosperity. It is true that we have faced some very difficult times here in Ontario and across the country over the last few years. Our economy and that of the global economy hit us pretty hard. But frankly, with Canada's economic action plans over the last number of years, we hit back. We encouraged businesses to invest and we help them to avoid layoffs. We put substantial funding into skills training. We extended support to workers who lost their jobs. And we made historic investments in infrastructure. And now, while many other countries around the world are still feeling the serious effects from the recession, our government's response to this economic issue in terms of leadership has left us in a rather enviable position. And I can tell you that I'm sure Colin will tell you as well that I'm very proud of our response and the results of our response with respect to Canada, Canada's economy. Our low tax plan for jobs and growth has worked. It has served Canadians well and is recognized all around the world. We should all be very proud of that. In fact, just uh, last month in Toronto, the head of the International Monetary Fund said that the measures we have taken to protect Canada's economy should be a model for other countries trying to fix 
their financial systems. This is quite high praise indeed for our country. Now I can tell you one of the things, uh, one of the tools, if you will, that I'm most proud of, of course I would be, is the creation of the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario, or FEDDEV. This agency, the first of its kind, the first time Ontario has had an economic development agency, was developed as one of the tools, a big hammer, if you will, to respond to the economic pressures that would uniquely face Ontario. FEDDEV, uh, we designed it to be nimble and quick, to be very responsive in its early efforts we went for those infrastructure and stimulus projects to help get money into the economy quickly. It was through our infrastructure programs that we helped to revitalize and develop downtown areas and cities and communities in southern Ontario that were hard hit by the economic downturn and create jobs when they were needed most. Our government, for example, invested uh, nearly $6 million in infrastructure improvements in Oshawa, Whitby, and here in Ajax, helping to ensure roads and sidewalks were rebuilt and are safer for the community here in Durham Region, not to mention lower the tax burden on property owners. Next, we brought forward the Recreational Infrastructure uh, Fund for Canada, a program that we developed to provide again upgrades and improvement to recreational facilities through infrastructure improvements, including $660,000 for the rehabilitation of the Memorial Outdoor Pool in Ajax, uh, as well as about a million dollars for the Iroquois Park Sports Centre in Whitby. Now these are types of projects that do indeed make a difference in the day-to-day -day lives, while at the same time creating jobs that are immediately necessary and successfully moving money into the economy quickly. These are the types of investments that help support long-term economic prosperity as besides paving streets and fixing sidewalks and making quality of life a little better for our communities, these are areas that do indeed have longer-term economic impacts. And that's what we started to look for in FedDev as the economy began to turn a little bit into, towards the positive. In fact, that uh, is exactly why uh, in this last budget, uh, Economic Action Plan 2012, uh, our government introduced a new fund, $150 million over two years, uh, called the Community Infrastructure Improvement Fund. Now, many of you know about this fund because it is just recently closed. And I can tell you that we are working very hard at the agency, plowing through some 1,850 applications for, I don't know, $100 billion or something. But we're getting through that. And I can tell you within the next short period of time, we will be able to support a number of good projects in this region and across Ontario.